So your lung volume starts to decline after the age of 28. And why would that be? It's because your chest starts to stiffen from calcification of the rib cage. And that means that your chest can't really expand anymore. And thus, you can't completely fill up your lungs with air anymore. You see, as you can see on this video, when you expand your chest, you create a vacuum between your body and your lungs. And that vacuum opens up your lungs. Every decade, you are losing about 380 milliliters of your lung volume, which is about 12.8 ounces. And then when you're about my age, which is 58, you lost more than one liter from the only six liters that you have. As a man, that is. And this is bad, because first of all, your body gets less oxygen, but also because it can impair an effective cough. And that you're going to need for airway clearance. But wait, there's more. Your forced expiratory volume, FEV1 is what they call it, which is the amount of air that you can exhale with force in one second, declines one to 2% per year. And that already starts happening after the age of 25. Yeah, that's pretty early. Well, I just did my FEV1 test. And as you can see, I still have 103% instead of the 70, 80% that they predict at my age. They also predicted for people my age, a peak flow expiration of 550 liters a minute. But as you can see here, I have 758 liters per minute, which is 208 liters more of what they predicted. So that means 138%. And the crazy part, you can achieve this very easy as well. And it only takes about four minutes a day. Now, everything that I'm saying is backed up by published medical journals. This is not a gimmick, trust me. And I also know that all the highest level endurance athletes are using inspiratory muscle training, and that's what this device is, to increase their endurance. But it's not only good for endurance, it's good for asthma, COPD, cystic fibrosis, anxiety, PTSD, your balance, back problems, sleep apnea, adjusting to high altitude, and more. Now, if you want to check out those published medical journals, please go to our website and click on the tab Science. Godspeed, everybody, and breathe on.